Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapas, joining you for another teaching and learning session. This time around, this is going to be for our pointer set number 23 for the next generation NFLEX RN. I'd like to inform everybody more and more and more nurses are passing their NGN or next generation NFLEX RN through this YouTube channel. And of course, through the Ray Gapo system. So those of you who don't have extra budget to engage in a test preparations class, all you have to do is to subscribe through our YouTube channel and choose among our videos, which ones do you think would help you prepare for the test? We have short ones, we have long ones, we have comprehensive videos dealing with specific diseases or drugs or procedures. And we also have videos that integrates everything. They're called quick fix videos okay so before we get to start i mean invite everyone to join our hundreds of thousands and passengers from among more than 30 countries in the world who are all using the ray gap system so let's engage so before anything else let me congratulate james brian m gachalian from the university of baguio who has the next generation nclex exam for the state board of new york plus august 16 2023 well brian is a nurse already in Finland, and he had uh, allotted some time to work on his grandfather's dream for him to take the NCLEX RN. So here is his story. Taking the NCLEX exam wasn't part of my plan until my late grandfather encouraged me to take it. To honor his memory, I dedicate this success to you, Itai. I hope I made you proud. First of all, I would like to thank our almighty God for helping me and guiding me during the examination. This accomplishment is one of the greatest gifts I have ever received in my entire life. To my wife and children, to my parents, siblings, relatives, in-laws, and friends, thank you so much for all the support and prayers all throughout my NFLEX journey. To Dr. Ray Gapos Jr., thank you so much for everything, for sharing your knowledge, and for guiding us all the time in preparation for our NFLEX exam. Thank you for all your efforts and sacrifices to help us nurses achieve our American dream. I will be forever grateful to you, sir, for teaching some of the greatest test-taking strategies and dimensions to functional concepts, which is very unique to the Ray Gap system and the syndromic approach to question analysis. I hope that you will be able to help a lot of future USRNs to the Gapos Baguio staff, Gapos Angels, Ms. McLean, Ms. Diana, Ms. Rika, Mom Jane, and Sir Gerald. Thank you for your services and support to my fellow colleagues, Boot campers, because they attended the boot camp in Baguio. That's a 10 day program that's high yield, high impact. And, but of course, it's really going to shake your mind and neurons, okay? Especially to my old friends, Diana, Carlo, and Jeric, thank you for all the support. No matter what happens, whether the exam is hard or easy, whether your computer will shut down at 85 or not, don't give up. Just keep on fighting. Always remember to pray to God. Trust survey and the review system, and most of all, believe in yourself. Good luck, guys, and I believe you are next. That's James Brian M. Gachalian, USRN. Thank you very much, Brian. Brian is one of our most diligent students. So his program, I know for a fact, he did the boot camp, he did the course shell, and he did the quick fix, the three days face-to-face. -face. I think he did it virtual live okay online so here are now my expert opinion on the things that you need to study for the test we begin with cardiac arrest protocol now when cardiac arrest happens remember the three c's first check for responsiveness say hey hey are you okay and then call 911 and then of course begin with cardiac compression right away chest compression 100 to 120 compression per minute would actually help save the client. Now, apart from the treasies, a lot of people are asking, what's the difference between calling a code blue and calling the rapid response team? Now, code blue is usually activated when the client has no breathing and no pulse. On the other hand, your rapid response team is called on to the scene when the client's vital signs are fluctuating abnormally such that, for example, the respiratory rate could be 
as low as 8 and as high as 28, or the pulse rate could be as low as 40 and as high as 140, or the blood pressure is progressively dropping. So in that case, you need your rapid response team. So once again, don't forget the three C's. Check for responsiveness, call 911, and then chest compression. Okay? Don't forget. Next, the intervention for a client with adenovirus conjunctivitis. Now, um, you have to be clever when you're answering questions related to infectious conditions. Don't just focus on one specific thing. Like, for example, if you were unable to notice that it's conjunctivitis pala and you just have your eyes on adenovirus, that could potentially cost you a point. Why? Because the isolation precautions would definitely be dependent on which type of condition is the patient suffering from. If it is adenovirus conjunctivitis, so we implement contact plus standard precautions because conjunctivitis is usually spread when the client gets uh, uses the hand to get hold of the eyes and then eventually um, share their towels or their cosmetics or personal belongings to other clients. So that's how it spreads. However, if the patient is having adenovirus pneumonia, then it's going to be droplet plus standard. Once again, adenovirus conjunctivitis should be contact and standard precautions. Adenovirus pneumonia, it should be droplet plus standard precautions. And the third and one of the most commonly asked concepts by my students is actually your scarlet fever. Now, the first thing that you have to bear in mind is that scarlet fever is associated with streptococcal pharyngitis. So if a patient previously had scarlet fever or streptococcal pharyngitis, notice that they have the potential to develop acute glomerulonephritis. So if the patient comes in with periorbital edema, generalized edema, and then T-colored or cola-colored urine, this could collectively tell you that the syndrome that the patient is suffering from could be associated with acute glomerulonephritis. And if you know that acute glomerulonephritis is associated with scarlet fever or streptococcal pharyngitis, what should you ask the mother of this child with AGN or acute glomerulonephritis? Ask the mother, what childhood illnesses did your child have in the past two or four weeks? Because usually scarlet fever or streptococcal pharyngitis triggers the autoimmune reaction that leads to acute glomerulonephritis. And the question is, what type of isolation precautions do we need to implement for scarlet fever or streptococcal pharyngitis? It's droplet plus standard precautions. Now, how would you know if you are given a syndrome that the patient's having scarlet fever? Definitely the patient will have fever and then pinkish or reddish rash. So if this happens, then you need to implement droplet precautions plus standard precautions. And frequent hand washing, covering the mouth and nose while coughing and sneezing and not sharing utensils will help prevent the spread of scarlet fever. Okay, and the second most important strategy to pass the next generation NCLEX would be to study with the right learning tools, okay? so. Here's what James has to share. I asked him which part of our review helped you the most. And this is what he said. Bootcamp, sir. But overall, functional concepts and syndromic approach, yung talagang nakatulong po kahit na ang hihirap ng mga questions. So these are the strategies that are very unique to the Regapo system, functional concept and the syndromic approach. Plus, he added quick fix. That's a three-day face-to-face that I conduct every month. Plus the use of course shell, parang booster dose po sa akin. Okay, so that's his recipe for success. So this is our course shell. It has all the things that you need, videos, short quizzes, long exams, traditional NPEX questions, NGN, you have it. Name it, you have it. Okay, and of course, the third most important should be a conducive environment. So this is our NPEX RN simulation room. That's a topmost picture and at the bottom part is actually a picture of the NCLEX class that we conduct on a monthly basis. So you, you can have a choice whether we have face-to-face -face or online, okay? So may I invite you to join our next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. 
your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, the QBank plus three books that's given for free, NGN strategies and simple questions by me, okay, and the quick fix sessions that, that we do live for three successive days, eight hours a day, so that's a total of 24 hours. And our fee starts at a very affordable rate of 3,499 pesos. So this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapo, saying you will be the next USRN if you're going to join our sessions. Any session that is in our system. I'll see you in my next video. You are the next USRN.